Hi everybody, welcome to a new series of tutorials on Groove Rider GR16 from Gym Audio. Groove Rider is a fantastic groove box developed by developer Dmitry Pavlov. It's based on Poison 2 2, so the sound that you can get out from this groove box is truly amazing. I have a number of codes to give away in a competition, so if you would like to participate in the competition, just follow the instruction in the video description, and also please check the comment section, the top comment generally, where it tells you if the winners have been informed. I will reply directly to the winners to their comments. Okay, so in this first video, I'm going to introduce you to the groove box because uh, this is part one and it is a getting started uh, video. So let's get familiar with a little bit the interface. So as you can see on the top, you have a main page. Uh, the main page is split between this display area where you can find a lot of information. For example, at the moment we are looking at bank A and we have pattern A00 called fashion one. Uh, and indeed, a Groove Rider is based on patterns. So the patterns itself are grouped into banks. The patterns have 16 parts and you can see also yeah, in the bottom uh, part of the screen, you see 16 pads. And also, if you access the mixer uh, with this button here on the top right, you can see the 16 parts, which you can uh, um, obviously change parameter from a mixing perspective. Uh, you have also here a parameters panel where you can change parameter for your oscillator, filter, modulator, and so on, as you can see on the screen. So as I explained, is based on pattern. That's the fundamental of uh, uh, of the groove box the patterns himself contain 16 parts each part is practically a sound the type of sound that can be generated for example if i click on wave here and i scroll up up i see oscillator type of sound so pulse etc a lot of selection but it can be also wavetable or it can be also pcm sounds and you can also um uh, open samples, import them as well, so it's quite um, uh, quite good. As you can see, this is the main screen, as I just explained. You have a secondary screen, the mixer as well, and you can also have a, a song mode. So if you click here on the top left, you go on song mode, where you can actually uh, chain together different patterns into a song. So for example, this is an example of a new song which has a number of patterns which have been chained together. It's that type of application where uh, the developer has thought it through in terms of actually really neat, nice to navigate, um, not too much uh, crowded in terms of controls, but it also means that to access a functionality, you have to enter menus. For example, if I click on the enter here, I enter this menu where I can change the path settings, the pattern setting, the utility, etc., etc. And you can also access to the shop to buy additional banks or patterns and the full sounds and samples. You can move up and down, for example, and depending on which menu you are in, the up and down would work differently. Of course, you can exit that menu. So it's it just, it just too important to get used really to how it works. You have a touch um, pad mode uh, here with a touch pad underneath, which is really nice. Let me give you an example. If I click on Arpeggiator only, um, uh, let's leave the IOE and the scale. I press on oscillator and then I can change the setting of the arpeggiator just uh, uh, on uh, the touchpad. And um, here you see the transport control, uh, including a loop mode, which can be further configured. Here you have additional functionality in terms of writing changes to your pattern, copy, and do edit. Uh, don't underestimate the uh, potential of it because, for example, if I click on edit, you have uh, something similar to a step editor. And if I move between parts, you can see uh, the step themselves for the different parts, which, of course, you can change as well. 
Um, each part um, can go uh, from one bar to eight bar bars and uh, each bar can be up to 16 steps so therefore you can have 128 steps and each step can play up to four uh, different notes simultaneously for a maximum of polyphony uh, of 32 so uh, quite rich in here you see other controls in terms of moving between parts uh, muting erasing triggering uh, create sequences, changing keys, chords, uh, uh, doing slices for which you have to import uh, uh, samples, etc, etc. Um, as I mentioned a moment ago, it's one of those applications where you have to learn how to use, hence why I started a series of tutorials, starting from this one. Uh, for example, here yeah, we are in pattern mode. You see a, a right button here, but on the top it says pattern, so if you click if you press and hold the shift button here and then you select right, it gives you access to this button menu where you have additional selection. And that is where that is how it will work, for example, in the case of the copy button, the redo button, and so on and so forth. At the bottom here you see different pads and which will work differently depending on the mode that you have selected. For example, um, in triggering you have different, it just triggers the, a note for oscillator or the sample. Here in sequencer we are for the part which is specified, defining the different steps and so on. We'll go through that uh, into more details in the next tutorials. It's, um, it's uh, as I mentioned at the beginning, a fantastic uh, groove box. It has a unique sound. Many people know from some of the banks. And just to give you an example, let's play Fashion 1. And let's ensure that we don't have too uh, high of a volume. Let's click play. <laughs> And also, when you uh, record steps for your part, you have a, a track for step, but you also have an automation uh, track as well, because it records automation as well, which, of course, makes uh, um, the construction of pattern and the four songs more unique and more interesting. Okay, I'm going to stop here for this uh, uh, first part one. And, and I'll see you shortly on part two where we will continue the journey of going through all the controls in the groove box and we'll also, uh, I will also show you how to create patterns and songs and modifying also the sounds all using all the different parameters that you find in the parameters panel. Okay, hope you enjoyed. See you next time. Bye.